Hello, welcome to Pendulum Friday for February 9th. I'm so glad you're here. We have some cool questions. We don't have a lot of them this week. Don't forget when you are sending in questions, uh, please make sure they're yes or no questions because the pendulum reads that way. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty. So um, thank you very much, as I said, for being here. And let's get started, shall we? So the first question is, will SCOTUS decline to rule on Trump's immunity appeal? So this is interesting, right? Because they can simply say, we're not going to do it. We're, not, we're just not going to look at it. And then that way, it, it, the ruling goes back to, um, I think, the ninth, the ninth, the, um, the ninth appeal court. Now I'm saying that wrong. Um, and... So their ruling stands, which is he has no immunity. So, and personally, personally, I think that's the smartest thing for them to do. If they take it up, um, then, you know, you've got all this sort of kind of nonsense going on and everybody has to, you know, get their stuff together and whatever. Um, and so I don't know. I think they're going to just decline. Let's see what Pendulum says. All right. Pendulum. Is SCOTUS going to decline to take up the, um, sorry, is SCOTUS going to decline to take up the immunity claims on, for Donald Trump? Is, are they just going to say we're not looking into this? The previous, the previous ruling stands. All right, well, that's a yes. Now, you know, I'm recording this on um, Thursday, actually, evening. And so we know that the um, um, the Supreme Court um, had those hearings today to remove Trump from the, ba the ballot. Um, based on what I can tell, it did not go well. I think that they're ultimately going to find for um, Trump and his name will have to be put on the ballot and will stay on the ballot. Let's just see. And that's if they even get it together to do so, you know, before um, primary season, before, you know, election. So will the, will the Supreme Court rule to remove Trump from the 2024 presidential ballot. Yeah, and that's a no. That's a no. Is the Supreme Court going to do everything in its power to help Donald Trump? And that's a no. Don't forget, the Supreme Court needs to hold on to maintain their own power. And so they can't do things that's going that are that's going to give Trump the ability to march back into office and stop start behaving like a, a dictator, okay? Because one of the things he'll do is get rid of the courts. Um, did Tucker Carson visit Orban and Putin to get money for Donald Trump's appeal? No, that's not why he was there. So, um, he was there to interview Putin. Um, might you think he's the only, they're saying, reporter um, who has gotten an interview with Putin since the war with Ukraine has started. So, you know, that's his thing. Um, so he didn't do it for to get the money. Um, does, does Putin slash Russia really view um, Tucker Carlson as a a useful idiot. 
Yeah, they do. They do. You know, his um, clips of his show where he was, you know, expounding on the, the wonders of Putin and Russia, those things play in Russia. So he really has become quite the advocate for Russia. For Russia and that's just like not cool. Alrighty. This week, Tucker Carlson launched his own streaming service, the Tucker Carlson Network. Will it be a success? And that is a no. Do you see Trump getting violent and harming anyone? So it's not do I see. Will Trump, um, as the stress increases, become violent and, and or harm anyone? Sorry. What I'm hearing in my head was, well, not unless somebody gets injured by a flying ketchup bottle. He is a coward. He's he he's not going to go after people. Um, he'll yell and he'll scream and he'll threaten, but physically, no. Does Trump have a body double as his friend Putin does? Is there a body double for Trump? No, he's too vain. Um, you know, nobody could do Trump as well as Trump as Trump. Will Nikki Haley end up being the Republican candidate for president? And that's a no. Do you see Prince? William becoming king in 2025. Is he going to assume the throne in 2025? Looks like yes. Uh, so will the monarchy survive past King Charles III's reign? And that is yes. Um. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna ask about how long Charles might be around, or I'm just not. Um, if if Trump is incapacitated, has been pushing up daisies. Do the series of scheduled trials become a come to a stop, or do they go on without him? Wow, boy, howdy! That is like a legal question, and I don't know the answer to it. For you legal buffs out there, maybe you have an answer. I'm going to say I don't think so. Um, I think they stop. You don't have a defendant anymore. Um, let's see what the pendulum says. Would the trials go on without Trump? No. Okay. Will Mega continue after Trump is gone or when he loses an election? So two very, very different energies. Will Mega continue if Trump is gone? Will it, will it maintain its strength? No. Okay. Um, will they be gone if Trump, I have to say it this way, will they be gone if Trump is on the ticket and he survives the election and he once again loses, will MAGA continue to be strong force? Okay, so as long as he's around, they're going to follow him like, you know, what's that, lemmings off the cliff? Um, the question was, will they find another champion um, on their cause? And let's just ask. And that's also no. I mean, I think for right now, um, we have learned that 
all those other wannabe Trumps um, are not, you know, catching fire. Um, now, when Trump's gone, might somebody be able to step in? I don't know. I don't know. I think that in some ways, you know, Trump is just his own energy and his own entity. And I don't really know that in some way he can just sort of be exchanged for, for somebody else. I, I don't, I don't, or somebody else can be exchanged for him. Is there conflict going on in the Heritage Foundation? Uh, so the Heritage Foundation is a sort of a think tank. They're a money group. They are the ones who create the list for the um, Republican judges that they want to end up on the court. But, you know, there's there's Republicans now who have very different views of what's going on and how the Republican Party should go forward. So let's just broadly ask, um, are they having, are, is there conflict? Is there is there trouble going on between two or three different fractions within the Heritage Fund? Um, yes. Um, will Cheney ever return to the House of Representatives? No. Will Liz Cheney ever serve as a U.S. senator? That's a no. Is Liz Cheney going to attempt to create um, kind of a new Republican Party with Republicans, as opposed to, um, you know, maggots, okay? Is she um, going to attempt to recreate a, a, or to create a new party in the image of Republican as she sees it? Is that, some, yeah, yeah. Okay, and so, and from there, is she hoping to, to run for president? And right now, that's a yes. And given the energies right now, is she likely to be successful in that? All right. And right no, right now, sorry, that is a no. Now, listen, if if she does this, you're talking about 26, 27, to get this party pulled together. Um, it, it's a really a long ways down the road. So the energies, what they're saying today is not necessarily what, you know, it's going to happen down the road. Um, so Biden today, um, there was sort of a scathing rebuke about um, documents that were found in his garage. Now, it was not like Trump and he's not getting charged and, and et cetera, but he sort of got his, his hand slapped a little bit. Um, is that going to become, is that going to be something that Republicans, particularly the mega Republicans, jump on um, to use as one of their talking points? Oh, you bet. You bet. They are going to try and, you know, make an equivalency, right? They're the same thing. One box left in a garage versus Dozens upon dozens upon dozens of boxes at Mar-a-Lago. They're just not the same. Biden didn't obstruct. He didn't say you can't have them. He didn't say they're mine, go away. But, you know. All right. Um, I'm just trying to think if off the top of my head there's any other questions that I am kind of curious to know right now. Generally speaking, overall, are the Republicans going to find that their supporters, broadly speaking, start to punish them for their inactivity in terms of what is not going on 
in the House of Republic, you know, in the in the House. Are, are there are people just going to say enough is enough? We gave you a chance. You couldn't even pass a bill. Yeah, they are. So they're kind of playing with fire here because I don't think that ultimately this tactic is going to serve them all that well. All right, that's what I know right now. So it's Friday. What are you going to do? You're going to take it easy, be kind to yourself and somebody else. Um, enjoy the weekend. Hopefully where you are, the weather is not completely crazy. Um, and if it is, stay safe, stay warm, stay dry, whatever, whatever is going on with, with where you are. Um, until next time, take care, be well, and we'll see you really soon. Bye-bye.